40s um, with lots of 80s references and everything like that. And, uh, um, it's part of targeted marketing and everything like that. The visual parodies, um, flattering the sense of being hip and media conscious. Uh, they give us the example of the uh, Y of Milk, which is actually sort of a soy commercial. Um, so anytime, you know, a certain ads parody other ads and, and parody TV shows and other things, again, to grab your attention. Um, there is that, what is that commercial with, um, oh boy, the one where there's the Brady Bunch and that wrestler dude or whatever, and, and, or people who um, are famous people and then they turn into regular people because they've got some medicine or something, I don't know, but you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, read up on it. Um, direct eye gaze is another way of attracting attention. If people are looking at you, we want to look at them or we, you know, we feel like we need to give them our attention. Uncle Sam, I want you to join something. Uh, so people, when they look at you, but there's also other things like the male gaze, um, which is looking particularly at male, female bodies, uh, in sexualized ways. And, and you know, there's lots of, there's a stuff in here about, uh, all that stuff, uh, later on in the chapter, but we all know that, uh, commercials and all sorts of television shows and everything like that are going to have certain camera angles. Uh, where they highlight certain body parts of women and, and basically put you in a position, whether you're watching television or whatever, as a, a junior high uh, boy gazing upon cleavage. Um, so, so these are some things to think about uh, about attracting attention, um, and then you know part of all this type of stuff. Um, is uh, and, they, and they also talk about how they moved to ELM and Timothy talks about how uh, both of these cases are sort of the peripheral route or peripheral cues uh, visuals are oftentimes peripheral cues because they don't make these large you know, arguments with lots of detail and points and everything like that they're shortcuts um, and then emotional appeals visuals can be very very uh, emotional um, very obviously, political advertisements, upward camera angle, show, you know, um, reverence. Um, you know, there's lots of different things. Uh, there's uh, these, um, uh, well, basically visual, it, think about emotional appeals as visual pathos, right? You know, the, uh, the ter terribly difficult to watch, uh, shelter uh, commercials, dogs and stuff with Sarah McLaughlin singing in the background and saying stuff. The, uh, the um, stuff, the old stuff from Sally Struthers or you know, starving kids, I mean, all that type of stuff is, is meant to, or even the, you know, the, the elderly folks falling down and saying, falling and they can't get up. Um, and uh, so it's sort of these emotional things, but camera angles uh, um, do that. Um, and there's actually, there's so those camera angles, uh, particularly when we're thinking about making an emotional appeal, can do uh, do all this type of stuff. And this is all still, well, this is actually, this is uh, attraction. Images as representation of reality, part of that is they grab the attention and then they make an emotional appeal. And this is before we get to this whole idea of, of images of, of proof. So there's generally four things that they say um, the camera angle could do um, and that is elicit emotional uh, well there are four ways a visual image is elicit emotion camera angle generally look of superiority identification and sexual uh, appearances so I just put camera angle as sort of the thing because all that stuff sort of works together um, but the camera angles, I just said, sort of depends. A low camera angle, looking up at an object makes the object seem more powerful. A high camera angle, looking down, makes the subject less powerful sometimes. Um, a cam level camera can put uh, even even footing or quality. Uh, so, I mean, there's really interesting things in here. So one of the things you want to be thinking about 
uh, in your first paper is not just all the various attributes of the, of the visual uh, stuff like color and lighting and shapes and all that type of stuff, but then again, how, how are these things functioning? How do the visuals attract attention? How does the, uh, how do they create emotional appeals? And part of that's going to be camera angle. It's also going to be uh, this idea about how uh, camera angles create this look of superiority. Um, producers of high fashion items often use facial expressions to communicate that their products are superior to others because their facial things are superior. Yeah. Look at the impression of the Chico from I'm Superior. Go Tigers. Superior. Uh, and this also, you know, in addition to the upward looking women's clothing, jewelry, the stone wall, the background, all that type of stuff's worked together. You know, look at me. Look at me. I'm a Chico from Come Buy My Clothes. Uh, identification. I think it's Southern Living and stuff like that. I, I, I'm, images and I remember identification, identification, identification is very, very important. Um, so visuals often help us also identify um, with the ad or, or, or they they use uh, images to try for the audience to identify. We still feel bonds, we are one with the person, we like the person, whatever that might be. Um, you can have models and all sorts of different things. So uh, we, we want to be like those people. Um, but one of the things that we've seen a lot of commercials lately, um, I think that have more social messages uh, whether it be the Bud Light and the, uh, the it was sort of a controversial commercial it was a Bud Light um, uh, at a, a gay wedding um, the uh, the big controversy over the uh, cereal with the two dads um, but oftentimes it's not it's, it's visual but it's also the message you know if you identify uh, with those sort of um, uh, social issues uh, you will perhaps want to go buy those products. Um, but there's lots of things about visuals and identification. Um, so, we want to be like that person. We identify with that person. Um, and then finally, sexual appearance to elicit a response from viewers. Uh, da -da -da, argues that both men and women are drawn to attractive images and models. In addition to sexual appeal ads featuring naked or scantily clad human bodies communicate status and ideas about beauty and it constructs. This is where I was talking about the whole problems with reality. You know, are, are these the people who are really the real people out there? When you look at perfume or cologne commercials or, or these random commercials like the Hardee's commercials who are using sex to sell burgers. These aren't real people. These are people who are weird. Um, but, you know, they, they give us, they construct for us a certain standard of beauty, which is unbelievably problematic, um, which is one of the reasons why, like, the Dove campaign for real beauty was lauded, but at the same time, there were some problems with that because most of the models on those things were still mostly naked, and then you had to buy a Dove product in order to be clean and look good. What if, what if, you know, you wouldn't have to? What if, you know, the natural for women would be no makeup at all? At all? Why do you feel like you have to wear a makeup, makeup for a woman? I don't wear makeup. Sometimes I do. But it's just fun. That's, you know, I don't care. What, it, okay. All right, so we've got that stuff. Now all that stuff again is under this bigger idea of, uh, of images, of representing reality, attracting attention, making an emotional appeal, and everything like that. Ways that visuals can potentially persuade. Images as, as proof, proof of, of, of the, the, you know, whatever argument that you are making. Uh, lots of things here that's are pretty interesting. Um, I'll let you read the stuff, but in a, in a way, the visuals serve as, as testifying, you know, the proof. Here's my proof. Does this really clean um, all the grease off of the puppy monkey made? Can you, 
Yes, so this is a special diaper just for the puppy monkey baby. Um, and see, you know, you can look at, they have these things, and look, look at how much, you know, it soaks up. Yeah, see? Or look at this, look at this, this paper towel, this is this paper towel, this paper towel over here sucks. Look, it doesn't, you, know, you, you can't clean up anything in there, and just the towel's ruined. Look at this towel, it actually, you know, polished everything up, and you can reuse it over and over again. You can go wash your car with your one single paper towel change the world oh uh, so there's lots of different things in here that I'll let you read but generally the idea here is is they use staging um, and that's basically things are staged uh, to control for unplanned abnormalities whether it be home people posting homeless people for news stories or featuring plastic food in a restaurant advertisement have you ever seen those burgers all those stuff I mean they, they wow I don't get that stuff. I, that doesn't. The stuff on the commercials doesn't look like anything I'm going to get at McDonald's. Uh, and then the whole you know reality shows that appear to be real, but they're not real because they're all staged and they're edited. You know, you think the 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 whole whether those folks in Louisiana, the, uh, the the goat rope, not the goat rope, but what are they called? The uh, the fisher guys, the duck hunters, the duck dynasty people. Yeah, if that's all staged, they grew out their beards just to make money. Maybe that's what I should do. I could be the, um, I would be the Lord Fork. I could, I could create my own reality show called the, uh, uh, nothing. I got nothing. Okay. Editing the way they edit stuff, put things together, obviously. And they're trying to show proof, but then it's also a fake. Uh, and they're really, they say they deceive us. This All this is about deceiving. Um, so proof is oftentimes uh, deceptive. Uh, it talks about um, selectivity. Uh, they show, photographs show certain things and not other things. They leave out details. Um, they also talks about mislabeling. Uh, do the advertisers often use stock file footage or pictures? I mean, look at websites out there. Look at the Southern States Communication Association website. We're actually trying to fix that, but you know, they're staged photos. Um, they're, you know, they're not. I mean, not staged. They're 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 not real. They're stock photos of people who have nothing to do with SSCA. Um, thankfully, one of the things that our college does uh, with all our paraphernalia or all our um, website stuff like that they're real Columbia College people and not just stock photos that's good that's important now of course the new stuff I think about that you see on the website about the new nursing program and all that type of stuff completely stock photos you think these are real people in our program no I think somebody just found a picture of nurses someplace and put it on there uh, okay um, and then we have this uh, idea of image is argumentative claim. Um, so there's not a whole lot of information here in this particular area, but basically it's just um, how visuals are arguing uh, or making a point. How they have a thesis. Um, sometimes they, you can do something visually, particularly if it's a, a comedic thing like a political cartoon, and get away with it. Uh, when you, it would be difficult to actually say it uh, from more of a, a verbal sort of thesis kind of way. Um, so I'll let you sort of read that. Um, but um, what's really important uh, in this section, before we get to some of the other stuff, um, is that uh, this is some of the stuff that I want you to be thinking about and writing about. Uh, in your first paper, not not just about you know here. I, I don't want you just to describe the different uh, stuff that you see in your commercial. I don't want you to say, okay, I see these colors, mm, that's cool, or I see these uh, this form, I see this type of lighting, that this is type of spatial, these are movements, blah 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 blah. But I want you to move more, you know, move beyond that and show how the visuals are representing reality in certain ways, how visuals are 
um, use, uh, images are used as proof for the product uh, or the product's uh, 